Osaka is champion in Australia for the second time. Nevada for Novak is nine Australian Open titles. The 2021 Australian Open champion, Naomi Osaka. I feel like playing the Grand Slam right now is a super privilege and it's something that I won't take for granted. He is truly the king of Melbourne Park. Novak Djokovic. I would like to thank Rod Lever Arena. I love you each year more and more. Love affair keeps going. Thank you so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We have completed the Australian Open for 2021. All mass gatherings are now banned in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. Which has only ever been cancelled because of war and the Spanish flu in 1919. For the first time in our history, a wall around our island continent. Another 30,000 people have lost their jobs tonight as the blows keep coming for Australian workers. More than 1,000 doctors, nurses and other healthcare staff have now tested positive with COVID-19. We are struggling. Um, our staff are tired. We can never underestimate Australians and at this time they will rise to the most difficult of challenges. We've come a long way. Victorians have given a lot. They have sacrificed a lot. And I am proud and deeply grateful. We've been on a long journey. The Australian Open is going to go ahead three weeks later than its normal date, starting on February the 8th. And there's been many times over the past eight months where that would have been in doubt. We have now a chance to showcase our ability as the major events capital of the world, as well as our capability on delivering these events in what is a very challenging time for all of us. The players will arrive in Australia on the January the 15th and 16th and participate in a two-week quarantine program. And our primary objective is to ensure that the community is protected as well as the players themselves. I love coming down here and I've been doing it for many years. It's almost impossible to work in a pandemic, but maybe tennis can do it. So I, there is a big tennis community and I think there was a feeling that, you know, we're all going to roll up our sleeves and do whatever it took to support Tennis Australia and the authorities here and Melbourne and just see, I mean, it's a hell of a thing. All of these players are on the same basic physical level. So if you were a part of the hard quarantine and didn't get your five hours a day for two weeks and think that's gonna cost you a chance to contend, you're right. If you were part of the hard quarantine and didn't get to practice for two weeks and think that you can overcome that, you're right. We're facing very tough times around the world the moment to be responsible and Australia is a country that is a positive example about how to manage this this pandemic. It's not the ideal situation but here we are and we're still playing tennis so that's uh, at least we can complain about that. From a practice point of view, from a practical point of view of how you go about your day, it's definitely been a big shift and a big mind change for those players. The fact is that we kind of know the rules of the game and, and we've got to abide by them and, and, and do the best we can. I thought to myself just Prepare the best that you can. Try to do the most, uh, most out of every day that you that uh, that you get out there. And it's very special that we're actually able to do what we're doing right now. Getting back to some sort of normality, I think it was all worth it. Uh, to be completely honest, it is what it is, man. Having come from America, I am fascinated by Serena Williams. This has always been such a special place for me. Starting the year off well here and having so many wonderful memories. The best players in the world can be upended in the early rounds or certainly pushed a lot harder. It wasn't pretty, but the world number one finds a way. And there's just a, a big bank of you know, excellent players capable of winning, of winning slams. Three-time Grand Slam champion is out, Angie Kerber. Gail Monfils is out. Bianca Andrescu, she makes her exit. Jessica Pagula pulls off the upset over the two-time Australian Open champ. Kaya Kanepi defeats the reigning champion, Sofia Kenin. So like everyone was always asking me, do you possibly see yourself getting there, you know, winning again? And obviously I, tried, I said yes, I mean, but yeah, I mean, the way I'm playing, 
No. Put your hands together and welcome from Australia, Nick Kyrgios. Uh, I mean, certainly the most exciting story to be around and be a part of uh, was Nick Kyrgios. It's never straightforward, is it? <laughs> no. High drama every time he sets foot on court. You know, at the end of the day, it is entertainment. I love, I love, you know, hearing the crowd go nuts and. And, you know, I, I, I like the way I play. He is a rebel, and tonight he has a cause. A total maverick. Complicated, misunderstood, but there is no question. He is absolute box office, Nick Kyrgios. I want to be able to make, you know, people come and watch my matches and have fun and, and almost be an experience rather than just a tennis match. Ultimately, we're in a sport about winners, but we're also about entertaining and creating headlines and, and gravitating people to the sport. Being in John Kane Arena that first week. That was just the most exciting thing. You see it enough? That's, it. That's interesting, is it? Taking his bag and taking off. Deep down, you know, all of us, all these guys, they're still human underneath. I mean, this is chaos. Well, it's so unnecessary. Yeah. It's just it's just one individual that's just made a complete goose of themselves. He still wants to have a go here for Nini. Emotions riding high, a lot of tension, a little bit of needle, unfortunately. The thing that I rep on court, for me, stay on court. I don't have nothing to say about that question anymore. Do you think you handled it well? I just told you. Oh, it's the perfect start for Serena Williams in her bid to win major singles title number 24. She navigates the first of seven tests comfortably. Dominic team simply just too good in every department. Dominant performance from Nadal. The definition of routine. The fact is that a lot of these matches, certainly in the opening rounds for these great players, are pretty one-sided. They need to have that X factor, be able to have fans coming and saying, it's okay, I know he's going to win this match, but you're still going to entertain me. I'm announcing that from 11.59pm tonight, all of Victoria will go to stage four of restrictions. It's a bizarre time, no fans, but still so much quality tennis to look forward to. Yeah, for the players, it's business as usual. Oh, that is phenomenal tennis. If this is to be the future of tennis, then we're in safe hands. Terrific, absolutely outstanding. These guys play by a different set of rules. Oh, that is just out of this world. Tear in the eye there too, Kokonakis. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Naomi Osaka's gonna take it to safety. What a contest, what a battle. Dominant performance from Nadal. Brilliance from Serena Williams. The comeback of all comebacks. His will to win remains undiluted. Are you not entertained? I, I really like uh, uh, Jenny Brady. I think she's the danger player in the tournament. I think it will come down to Jen and Ash in that section of the draw. Look, I think Osaka on the women's side is, you know, she's going to carry the tour on her shoulders and we love to celebrate winners. But at the end of the day, winning with charisma, winning with something that's a little bit unique, having that X factor is something I think Naomi brings to a tennis score. You could be forgiven to think that this could be the final of this year's tournament. I just tend to take it one round at a time. The only thing that I can control is whether I win or lose against her right now. There was a moment when I got angry and like hit my racket on the ground. And the racket's gone from Osaka, really frustrated. Yeah, I feel like at the end, on the third set, it was very equal. A couple match points from Muguruza. That's what, <laughs> one way to save that. I just told myself not to push, but also don't do something crazy and make a really bad unforced error. On goes Osaka. Match points saved. Maybe a year ago, I probably wouldn't have won this match. Gosh, the transformation in the last 
couple, couple of years has been extraordinary. And she's such a self-confident woman. Uh, I think Osaka getting through that match will have given her tremendous relief. And I think that sometimes when great players get through incredibly tough matches, and that was being down match point, we've seen a lot of champions here through the years that have been down match point and they've won the tournament. I don't think you'll get a long shot winning, but goodness me, I mean, Kennan, who picked Kennan last year? Who picked uh, young Igor Schwantek, the Polish teenager, to win the French Open? Do I think that's gonna happen again? I'm not, I don't know. My sense is Serena could win. It's just a sense. An excellent first set of tennis from both women. Williams, just the better of things, slightly. Oh, this is getting better and better. Halep returning exceptionally well. Williams defending as if her life depends upon it. Wonderful match. Williams, though, too good. 6-3, 6-3. Marty's not playing better. She's lost her way to some degree. What a wonderful job Karolina Mukova has done here. She's turned this match on its head. We are going the distance. Set all. Well, that will get it done. One of the biggest upsets of the tournament, Karolina Mukova from the Czech Republic, coming from a, an unbelievable deficit to turn things around. Gets the better of the world number one. Oh, well done, Jen Brady. Into the semi-finals. <laughs> And she does it. Naomi Osaka is through to the semi-finals of the Australian Open. Tennis in this country is at the forefront for two weeks a year. And you have your casual tennis fan that sees the glitz and the glamour of Melbourne Park and everything that goes with it. And I think sometimes it, it's hard to put into words or explain to people what goes on in, in a player's journey. Um, there's a lot more up and down and, and hardship. It's not just all you know, big prize money and, and walking onto Rod Laver Arena. Well, the Cinderella story may continue here for the Russian. Incredibly, he's taken the second set. And I just thought to myself, you know, I'll keep on trying and hope things will, would get better. And we are at match point. And the clock has yet to strike midnight in Melbourne. Aslan Karetsov's Cinderella story continues. I'm happy to see to see Russian on the rise. I'm happy myself doing some good results to, to make tennis popular again in Russia, uh, like it was before when there was Marat and Yevgeny. And uh, hopefully we can uh, see two Russians in the semis because one we're going to see for sure. Daniel Medvedev has arrived at match point. And a lovely yeah, way to seal the deal. It'll be a first Australian Open semi-final appearance for Medvedev. I'm a big believer that the, the top players are the ones that sell the tickets. So I look at the, the numbers in terms of TV ratings. They're the ones that shift the needle. They're, they're pretty much 90% of the reason why we're here. So, uh, and covering the tournament and why the TV revenues are what they are and everything else. Wouldn't want to be trying to script this one. Into the net. It's a double fault. It's a break Game of serve for Sasha Zverev. Did opening you, game of the match. Did you feel that coming? I felt, I felt that coming. I think we played an extremely physical match. There's a lot of keys, a lot of uh, turnarounds today. And Zverev manages to sneak the opening set. Come on! Come on! And fittingly, he finishes with an ace. And for the ninth time in his career, Novak Djokovic is a semi-finalist at the Australian Open. Two sets to love it is for the second seed. I brainstormed and I said, what is going wrong? Why is it not working my way? Oh, sets a pass, take a bow. But then it just took off by itself. I didn't really have too much to think of. Well, that is a tremendous triumph for his endeavours. And he is going from strength to strength. How good is this? How good is this contest right now? And it is the ultimate triumph for Tsitsipas as he breaks. And to a fifth and deciding set we go. 
And the comeback almost complete for Stefanos Tsitsipas. Tsitsipas soars into the semi-finals and produces one of the great comebacks of all time. Naomi, for me, has, is starting to develop that aura where players really are frightened about how much damage she's going to do on the court and are they going to get a game. Not, they're not thinking about winning and that's what used to happen when players went on against Serena and Steffi. You know, we're going to last an hour out here. Oh, am I going to get a game? And that's what she's starting to put in, for me, starting to put into players' heads. She still really looks up to Serena. Obviously, she has been the queen of women's tennis for the past 20 years and she still is. Naomi sees herself as like one of the upcoming girls. Quite a lot of people are in the position maybe to change something or try to change something, but they don't take their responsibility. And I think for, for a young girl like Naomi, I think it's incredible what she has done so far and like and the way she's going in that in that part. Naomi Osaka, who is challenging the throne. Blockbuster stuff. It's a semi-final of a Grand Slam and no one gets there by chance, so I gotta be ready. Oh, it's so good to have the fans back. That's taking the ball by the horns. Osaka in full flight. She has got Serena rattled. Well, after being two left down, she wins seven of the next eight games to wrap up the opening set. Six games to three. says it all. Perhaps that's the start of something bigger for Serena. People don't remember the runners up. I think I fight the hardest in the finals. Um, that's where, you know, you sort of set yourself apart. Out of this world. Three winners for Osaka to break. Every time I play here, I feel like it's something I'll definitely remember a lot. I wondered if this is, you were almost saying farewell. Um, I don't know if I, if I ever say farewell, I wouldn't tell anyone, so. It was just one of those bad days at the office. Oh, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm done. These players right now, these young women, uh, Osaka and Brady, they are very, very good. They're fit, they hit hard, and they're not afraid. They are not afraid of the field. That's long! Jennifer Brady, 6-4 in the final set. As you would expect, plenty of emotion from Jen Brady. My legs are shaking, my heart is racing. I, whew, I'm, I'm, I don't have words. Yeah, I'm uh, obviously pretty excited to be in the finals here at the Australian Open. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, an incredible achievement. I mean, I'm sure I'll be, I'll be nervous, but um, I'm going to be super excited. I know that she got stronger again uh, physically. I think she, uh, yeah, she under, yeah, she already had a experience like that at the U.S. Open, and uh, that uh, definitely helps her in in situations. And uh, yeah, she she knows also how good she is. I, I personally think Novak can win nine. Uh, I think the conditions in his own mind may be the biggest stumbling block for him. I personally actually think they're quite positive for him, that they're fast. He's one of the greatest spot servers that we've had. Well, in the end, he won the opening set, running away with it. But it was a good challenge early on for the first half. And then it was all Novak Djokovic in the second, 6-3. Well, it's a huge roar from the crowd. They're finally back in the stadium, and they want something competitive. 
has been tested down the final straight in this second set. But ultimately, he is too good, and it is a two sets to love lead for the world number one. Well, 24 was the number on everyone's lips today with Serena, but in the end, it was Novak who produced a 24 karat gold performance to make his ninth final. Set point number four, and he delivers another great serve. Stand and deliver, mesmerizing from Medvedev. Come on! Medvedev goes mainline with the backhand. He will serve for the match and a place in the finals. What a way to book your spots in your very first Australian Open final. A masterclass from Medvedev. The, the actors call it the fourth wall, uh, that barrier between the performers and the audience. And there's no fourth wall in sports. There's an audience, and there's an athlete, and there's a reaction. Very good evening, everyone, and welcome again to Melbourne Park. Penultimate day of the Australian Open of 2021 and of course it's all about the ladies the women's singles final coming your way jennifer brady naomi osaka what a moment for both these women especially jennifer brady first time into a grand slam singles final the nerves i suspect will be jangling both of us i'm sure were nervous uh, i was definitely especially nervous i knew i was going to be nervous you know, I just didn't feel like I was playing my best tennis out there, which is an unfortunate. Set point, Osaka. Oh, wow, that's a shocking miss and a disappointment for Brady. I thought that was a very uncharacteristic from her, like to miss that. So my mind just began thinking that she was either felt really nervous or really pressured, and I should um, capitalize on that. Uh, it's just too good for Masaka. She played really well when she had to. So dangerous when she has time from the middle of the court. I'm pretty proud of myself, my team, for what we what we achieved here. Oh, that's outstanding from Brady. It was exciting to be out there. You know, I enjoyed every single minute playing in front of fans in my first Grand Slam final, and uh, hope there's many more. Good stuff from Brady. You know, I'm walking away with, with the runner-up trophy, not the, the winner's trophy, so that's a little bit sad, but I would say I'm pretty, pretty happy with, uh, with, with my performance over the past couple weeks. Well, this is when players with the mindset that Osaka has are dangerous. I feel like every opportunity that I play a slam is an opportunity to win a slam. So I think maybe I put that pressure on myself. Wow, that's as good as it gets. That's incredible. So Osaka, is she about to lift her fourth Grand Slam title? Match points. When you get to that final point, you start trembling because you can think of like the what ifs. So for me, I feel like I'm living in a what if right now. Osaka is champion in Australia for the second time. I think this is a moment that I've been working for during the entire preseason. I honestly just told myself before the match, just go out there and fight for every point. Um, and you know, the outcome is whatever it wants to be. It feels like a dream. Every time that I, I do happen to win a Grand Slam, I, I think it feels surreal. Well, it's a good evening from Melbourne for the men's singles final here. Daniel Medvedev takes the walk down. He probably shouldn't look to his right because he will see Novak's so far impenetrable shield of success. Huge reception for both players. Both are intellectual summarize. No defeats on the final Sunday ever here in Melbourne for Novak. The task is monumental. 
There'll be precious few of those tonight. Two Please. break points early on for the world number one. I didn't play bad, but I didn't play my best level. I was there in the first set. What a start from the world number one. Absolutely brilliant. Has been a uh, least to say roller coaster ride in the last you know, four weeks. Some pressure being exerted on Novak's side. Well, what a start for the neutrals. A break early for Novak, a break back for Medvedev. But we got a fight. The champion came out, threw some punches early. It has been definitely one of the emotionally most challenging Grand Slams that I ever had. What a great contest this is. Fabulous games between these two. Well, these are the moments where the great champions rise to the occasion. As a kid, I was dreaming to win Wimbledon. But if we see things from the perspective of results, I mean, God Labour is final set point. How's that for a rebound from the Russian? He returned the balls in the court. He was aggressive. He was making winners when he had to. Stick that return in. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, this has been a mini win version, has it? It's two sets. Yeah. He's uh, the king of Melbourne, even if I don't like these words, but uh, what else can you say? The Djokovic juggernaut. You know, Roger, Rafa, myself are still there for a reason. We want to hand it to them and we don't want to allow them to lose it. Proud and you know happy, of course, but I also I'm, I'm, I feel a huge relief as well. Just in terms of a quality of play here, it it's, feels much more normal. You know, the crowds have made all the difference to me. Uh, that's that's a that's a step up. It, you can feel it. It's an emotional step up for the for for everyone involved, not just the people who are watching, but the people who are playing. You know what I have in the front of my mind the whole time is the great little line from Billie Jean King, champions ad adjust. And anyone that does well in life just has to adjust. That's what separates people.